Hello guys and gals, Vin the Human here, making a quick apology to all of you. If you listened to SMP number 22, you would have been under the understanding that uh, this was coming out on Tuesday, but on Tuesday I was in a bad car wreck that totaled my Jeep, and uh, I just got to edit in it today. It's coming out, well, you're listening to it, so it's out now, but without further ado, let's start the show. It's a real funny one. Beverly Hills. Yep, and that's about all we can afford to play right there <laughs> without getting sued. Hey guys, welcome to Serious Shit. This is a show where we seriously don't talk about shit, except for this time when we... <laughs> We don't talk about shit, the points don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> the points don't matter, yeah. This time, though, we, we are we are focused. We have a topic, unlike usual, and that topic is pornography. Yeah. Um, Lewd stuff here. <laughs> Lewd and nude. Um, specifically, we're talking about Hugh Hefner, who recently passed away. R.I.P., bro. Yeah. Uh, I, okay. First of all, I could not find... I should have clicked on the articles when they were new, when, oh, yeah. when they were fresh, but uh, I didn't. It was just like, he was 91, he probably died, you know, peacefully in his bed. I, so, I can only think of two reasons why. <laughs> right. Either he's just being old or getting it on. Oh my god, no. See, if it was something <laughs> epic, I know those articles would relate. Right. <laughs> like, he was doing a... 360 kickflip, won't <laughs> get laid. Hefner no. goes out with a bang. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, head to, headlines. Oh head. my god, though. No. Oh, that would have uh, been such a great if he died mid coitus and then the article said <laughs> goes out with Hef a bang. goes out with a bang. <laughs> yeah, perfect. I could that see that. That would have been amazing. But yeah, I could love that. Too. I couldn't find anything that uh, said how he passed either, though. Uh, yeah. Well, okay. So we we took to Facebook. We did some hard hitting journalism, and we just books. typed in Hugh Hefner. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's all we did. <laughs> We typed in you after, and oh my god, I found some of I found this little retrospect, which was kind of cool because a little thing, but didn't talk about his death at all. Like the title said, he he had died, but yeah, the art, the the actual video didn't say shit about how he died or anything. Then about another video, uh, by this British guy, and like it starts out like it's a little like backhanded. It sounded like, we're like, wow, this, this guy sounds like he didn't like, he, like he sounds like he did. Well, maybe we were hearing it wrong. Because this guy was British, so we were like, maybe it's just because he's British, we think he's being an Coming asshole. Coming off like an asshole. Like, maybe we're the assholes here. Yeah, of course. But then, it takes, like, like it starts talking about how um, it, it immediately quotes the Bible, like some <laughs> Mark verse or something about lusting after... A woman, or like uh, seeing a woman and being attracted to her is the same as a committing adultery or something. And, and that's then it, when we knew it. It just starts hitting this whole like, so Hugh maybe repented before he died and isn't burning in hell. Picture of <laughs> half hits the screen with devil horns. Like. Yeah, oh wait. No, that didn't happen. <laughs> wow. Uh, but yeah, it takes a hard religious left turn. That's what they're trying to say. <laughs> wow. Like, he was like a, I don't know. I didn't, take even, it I, I, I didn't even finish it. I was like, oh, okay. Well, it's obvious where this one is now. Yeah. yeah so it's ridiculous. Oh my god! I found one that was like um, the police said, like maybe, and I quote: "It said Hugh Hefner possibly suicided." <laughs> yeah. And I don't, I don't know if suicided is an actual term. I don't think it is. And then the actual link said pedophile Hugh Hefner. And I was like, what? Oh my god, we are in the woods now. Shit, we got lost somewhere. And then I found one article. I think it was, um, no, it wasn't even MSN or something. But it, it, all it said was he died at the mansion. And that was it. There's, there's a plethora of articles out. I, but, I was uh, like, that's good <laughs> enough. Well, like, I really don't want to see how far this rabbit hole goes down. The if only he could have died smiling by the things he loved. Alpha Spectre's here. Uh, James, o- we actually backing up my theory. We didn't. Uh, we didn't do intro. <laughs> uh, Vincent Herman 
Otherwise known as Ben the Human. Yeah. Cut you off. Cut you off. (laughs) Travis Herman, Dr. T. And showing up late to the party, as always, James Odell, Alpha Spectre. Yeah, Yeah. he had to move move his grandmother or something. I don't know. He he said a bunch of words and a message and didn't pay attention to it. Uh, I didn't. We were hard doing, you know, not hard, but uh, we were hitting the books. You <laughs> know? Sure. I'm sure half was. Oh, we uh, yeah. Well, we already covered those. We ones. did some guerrilla journalism. You missed all the good there. jokes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I thought, uh, I thought it would be cool for this little uh, impromptu ep- episode that was not, san- uh, like, not sanctioned. <laughs> we're uh, gotta be here, dude. We're I gotta bad, we're the bad boys of our own podcast. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, yeah, nice. What do you got there? Uh, what is that? Oktoberfest. I want to drink it. No, I want to drink that. One. <laughs> this, is, this, this is the only one I have. Give that one to me. <laughs> no, the same bottle with that it. Coors Light instead. Um, just because I'm gonna edit that. It, all this shit. Ah, oh, man, my my scotch glasses are there. Right. <laughs> grab grab one of my um my glasses out of there and, and give me a little taste of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I meant out of the cabinet. Well, but, well, yeah, yeah, sure, out of the coffee <laughs> pot. Why not? I was gonna edit all this out, but I'm I'm entertained. Yeah, well, you, you, well, we can empty out a soup can. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Out of that soup can. is one of my Batman glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I I did the doing. joke. <laughs> right. Uh, I actually have the full set of uh, the Batman Thank McDonald. You. Is it McDonald's? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I this is. The Batman Forever. Yeah. Somehow yeah. from a box that Dad gave me, and then there's another whole set in there. So I put those <sighs> in my house. That's so good. The ones I actually right. drink out of, and then some collectors. Anyways, that's not what this is about. <laughs> this is about yeah. the man. We wanted the legend. We we're, we're gonna talk a little bit about you after. We're, we talk a little about like trying to find out how he died. It was a little bit of, you're going to have to listen to the episode. Uh, <laughs> you're not going to be able to find out how I died, that's for sure. I mean, <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, <clears throat> that that was a fun journey. Anyways, uh, I thought it'd be cool to talk about some of our Playboy memories. Uh, not necessarily <laughs> pornography memories, because that's a whole thing. So, like, what were what were some of the issues over the years? Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe you came across dads. In Odell's, in Travis's case, maybe dad had across, our, your dad's, oh in Odell's case. Odell had uh, our dad's porn. <laughs> How'd you get that? What the hell? There's a foot locker. Yeah. No, it was a box. Just that. No. Actually, it was a beer box. <laughs> dad's were This one was a military oh, your, foot locker. Your dad's? Full. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, wait was this all Playboy or was this like miscellaneous? Mostly Playboy. There were like a few penthouse. You're gonna have your your odd hustler in there. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. But, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm talking like early, <laughs> oh. early ish, like from the '60s. You can tell by the so, amount of hair on the cover. Wow. <laughs> the cover. Page yeah, actually, <laughs> gets I, more um, wild. Well, okay, I I inherited our dad's. Somewhere around like 2004, 2005. There's a ceremony. Yeah. <laughs> it was a passing of the Budweiser box. <laughs> oh oh, oh my God. But there was a lot of 90s stuff in there. And um, I don't think there were any 80s. I want to say there was like maybe an 80s or two in there. But, and then there was a bunch from 2004. One or two when dad was feeling nostalgic. Yeah, one well, of there were ones, like, he, he had specifically made a point to tell me that he had bought, like, some because of, like, who was on the car. Like, yeah. um, there was uh, the chick. Okay, you might remember Star Wars Episode Two. Uh, hard to forget, as we've all tried. <laughs> uh, anyways, the uh, changeling uh, chick, the, the assassin yeah. who tries to assassinate. Uh, awesome. Padme. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, she did Playboy, oh. and uh, he had specifically bought it because it was a Star Wars. See, actually, issue. I'm and, pretty sure I've yeah. probably seen that one because I do remember. A uh, was there a Star Wars thing going in uh, Playboy? A Star Wars shoot? Um, I'm I'm sure there were Star Wars themed shoots, but maybe maybe don't quote me on that. But uh, this one was not. It just advertised that she was from. Star I'm mixing Wars, right? Playboy and random. I Random actually had to look searches. up who she was to know she was the the changeling or something, but uh, and I may even be wrong about that. I don't know. 
it's hard to tell. Yeah, it's hard to say. Who cares? It's episode two. I remember so. seeing all kinds of them. Uh, the first time I, uh, I can't say whether it was Playboy or not, but uh, I remember looking in a, uh, I went into a drawer underneath the water bed in their room. I don't remember why. Oh yeah. But obviously now as a kid, I'm yeah. like, you're going straight for it, bro. You're gonna <laughs> find one. Yeah. It's a water bed. Eventually, that all moved to a box in the closet. But yeah, I found that one. <laughs> I opened up a drawer and there was a pair of movies or something there. And pair of movies. Knew what that was ever since then. Exactly. But uh, opened the box, fell on the movies. Life yeah. moved on how pretty did, sweet from there. How did you find Tried for the Kid Tent Locker? Or was this <laughs> well, presented to you? This was this was, okay. It started pre Foot Locker. Okay. okay, we found or I I found a box in the garage because like I when I was a kid I was always like in and out of the garage. That's where my bike was. Like yeah. I had some other yard stuff out in there. So I was just in there messing around. Like my dad had some of his old G.I. Joes and stuff out there I'd mess around with from time to time. Well, I found another box. And I'm like, it, it was like a light shined out of this <laughs> box when I opened it. Pandora's so, box, huh? <laughs> so carefully, over the course of days, I would, I would go into the garage. I would take one. I would put it in the side of my shorts, put yeah. my shirt over it, and go upstairs to my room... And peruse through the magazine. <laughs> peruse through the magazine. Elegant. Like Abuse that. yourself throughout the magazine. <laughs> he but, tried to be classy about it. But the worst part of all this... This show is called Serious Shit. Any, <laughs> any attempt to be classy is thrown out from the title. <laughs> the worst part, though, was like in my room, I had one of my dad's old record cabinets in there. Nice. It's real nice, like, dark stain. This thing's awesome. I'm going to steal it from it whenever I get a house. <laughs> but, you know, of course, it's a record cabinet. It has, like, dividers in it. So that's where I started putting these. I'm like, <laughs> my parents <laughs> never came into my room. started organizing them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, my, my parents never came into my room or anything like that. So I'm like, okay, what? Well, they cleaned my room one day. They were gone. <laughs> <laughs> Did they ever say anything to you about it? Like, was there ever a talk, or you just like, well, they knew that you knew, and you knew that they knew. They're throwing out hints at that. Like, why don't like, you go outside and play, boy? Get, get like, <laughs> I'm around like eleven ish. Yeah. When, when all this is coming about, so uh, like, did this lead to the talk? That, well, kind of, <laughs> but like, fast forward about a year or so, when I, you know. Found more and hid more, and they did the same thing. <laughs> Rats. And uh, I, I had a different hiding place, but you know they cleaned yeah. my room again because I never did. For some odd reason, kids can't. <laughs> if anything, kids can't defeat the parent. You know, if anything should have taught you to clean your room, like like I gotta start taking this. No, because that would have been even more suspicious. <laughs> Why is he cleaning his room? He so must have a freaking stack of porn up there in the clean room. What? <laughs> But fast forward, I'm like 12 and a half or so, and like my dad has a room set up in the basement where he would go to like, you know, relax away from me and my sister yeah. and have a beer, watch some TV, whatever. Read a play well, <laughs> he, uh, he had a, a conversation with me in this room and... Told me oh that it was the special room. You know, <laughs> this is where they all were. I'm welcome to him. Oh, man. Uh, you got the, the keys yeah. of the kingdom, didn't you? Pretty much. Yeah. And and then from that, it kind of lost its allure because it's like, well, I'm not sneaking them anymore. Yeah. So where's the it's not forbidden, that? you know? <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, I think we all have those like, oh, we, we found them, we snuck them, and like, oh, there's some stashed over here, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, but okay, okay. So this this is a testament to my love of comics because while yes, I was I was like <laughs> actually reading these for the the t well, I wasn't reading them. For sure, <laughs> you but, were viewing. Yeah, I I was I was looking at them for the ladies, and uh, <laughs> but I actually did legitimately enjoy the cartoons. As I a did kid too. too. I things. always loved the comics. And, uh -huh. I saw um, an exact comic strip I remember seeing in an exact magazine surface on Facebook the other day. Really? And this had to be a comic strip from Playboy that was like at least 10, more than 10 years old. Yeah, possibly. I believe it. And it was a, um, 
a woman goes into like her boss's office and they start going at it and then she gets a call from her husband it's like hey i got a new job and she's like oh yeah what's that and he's the window cleaner outside cleaning the window. <laughs> and it's like yeah, I remember right. this exactly. That sounds like a Playboy. It was an actually uh, pretty I was pretty envious of like their uh, drawing. It was pretty good. Yeah. Like I liked it. Some well, of them. <laughs> did did you ever read like the centerfold stats? No, not like not like for the years. bio and the stats and yeah, stuff. Because eventually, like as I as I got older, like I started noticing. Wait a minute, there's a fuck ton of words in this. I wonder what they say. <laughs> I'm and, tough. Wait, when did they start putting words in here? Right. <laughs> and, oh, I was gonna say, don't you uh, have a uh, one collected? Yeah, uh, there's one on my my Bruce Willis shelf uh, that has an interview. The- from Bruce Willis. When Vinny could see the words past It was given to me as a birthday <laughs> present from an ex because it had, uh, Bruce, it had Willis. Bruce Willis in it. And, uh, and yeah, I legitimately read that interview. I wanted to. But this was like well after I'd actually now, started reading articles. And these were cool articles, man. You yeah. go back and read the ones yeah. from the 90s. I love them. I read an interview with uh, Hunter S. Thompson in one because uh, our sister's boyfriend, he's a huge Hunter S. Thompson fan. Yeah. He had it and he, was, he knew how much I liked him. And, uh, you know, I got a bunch of the movies and stuff he brought to me, and I read through it, and it was pretty insightful. Uh, not, like, a whole lot I hadn't heard or watched on YouTube with interviews yeah. of him and stuff, but it was still pretty cool. It was, like, it was kind of a big deal. I was like, oh, my God, they got him. But now uh, now I'm starting to think, like, is, was ever, uh, did Bruce Campbell ever make an entrance? <laughs> now I'm going to be getting all on Bruce yeah, Campbell. Yeah, you're going to have to. I'm sure he did. Had He's to. in the background of the party picture. I'm buying it. <laughs> with it my collection. I, I wouldn't say he's ever been on the cover because I know because like, no. Bruce isn't on the cover of this one. I mean, every now and again you get to do it on the cover. Like, I mean, they had the Coneheads cover. Once. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, had, what a Dan turn off. Ac- had Dan Aykroyd <laughs> on the cover with two. Uh, I think two ladies. But um, yeah, uh, what was I gonna say? I just said they're just uh, just a moment ago. But anyways, yeah, and it, that's what made this so like appropriately titled it was called playboy because it was a playboys magazine it had articles about wooing women and, and men's health and uh, grooming tips and and all this stuff and uh i remember smelling the cologne and that's another thing oh, i would smell the cologne yeah, yeah. cologne flaps yeah little cologne flaps to show love I those. Remember those uh yeah, it was a it was that's a socialites a magazine that wasn't afraid to talk dirty you know yeah. and uh, a lot of people attribute the sexual revolution of America to Playboy. I mean, the first issue, Marilyn Monroe. You know, now this is before she was like the hugest thing in the world, but after she was a name, so yeah. it was like this sweet spot, this little middle area where where you know it all just lined up perfectly. Uh, something so, I read in those articles. Um was uh like we couldn't find out how he died but yeah. uh yeah we uh found out that i guess he's gonna be buried in uh some sort of memorial park near Mar- Maryland 75 Monroe. grand next to Marilyn Monroe yep. and he had already like previously bought that like plot so it's like uh that's kind of kind of however of his first issue was Marilyn never, Monroe. he never met her <laughs> no um, he was uh he met her he was there on uh, not what i read yeah, see, there's so many. Oh, uh, yeah, see, there's so much yeah. shit circulating, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure he met because I remember um, watching a documentary like years ago about Playboy, the magazine. It was more about the magazine than it was like Hugh Hefner himself, yeah. and the impact that the magazine had and stuff. But yeah, I'm pretty fucking sure, like yeah. they met and shit. Like all I know, he, he put the. I remember he put the magazine together him, himself. Like it, it, I think it was like self funded and shit. Too. Well, yeah, because he was just initially that first just a issue. cartoonist. Yeah, getting that first mm-hmm. issue out. Yeah, uh, it was all him. So uh, yeah, I, like to him having not met her and, and being so damn involved with that first issue, but then just that <laughs> one part, <laughs> like that would be so weird. Like I, 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 I don't believe at all that he wouldn't have met her. Um, but no, like, it, but the thing is, have you seen all of the hate articles? That oh popped yeah. Up? Well, I don't have to see them to know that they're there. Like, I, I could probably shoot off like three or four titles for you right there. And just, they're probably <laughs> word for word, you know. Like, Smutmonger finally kicks the bucket. You know, I'm sure that's, that's one. That's a rough one. Yeah. You know? <laughs> 
<laughs> Actually, I mean, I'm pretty sure I saw one with a very <laughs> similar title. I mean, one this, word this magazine uh, came out around... Uh, uh, they couldn't say... Um, what was it? I, I read in one article, like, I, I think they couldn't say condom or something on I Love Lucy. It was maybe even just a simpler word than that or something. It was like such a mundane word. It's a, 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 an appropriate word. It was so but taboo. But you couldn't at that time. say it. Yeah. yeah. On, on I Love Lucy. Sex was such you a know? taboo topic at that yeah, point. Yeah, exactly. And it here was... is a magazine that's literally all about, like, um, Playboy, being a Playboy, yeah, being a Tomcat. Didn't he uh, come out uh, or uh, inspire shows that you said? uh... Yeah, apparently there was a there was a television show or something uh, way back when. I think it was like an after dark interview situation or something. Um, There were there was a bunch of not like Howard Stern where he gets in the flash of titties and nothing. (laughs) Nothing like that, uh, because uh, a lot of the stuff started to fall apart in the 70s. Like, there was uh, some sort of controversy around the magazine or something. And so a lot of the stuff started to uh, close in. And then I think sometime in, like, the the mid to late 80s, he handed the company off to his, I want to say his daughter. But, yeah, anyway, he eventually that. settled down and got married, and then that lasted only so long, and then he went back to being... A, he had seven girlfriends at one point around oh, yeah. the, it, oh. in his uh, 60s or 70s. Like, yeah. his, his wife, the the lady that he was married to when he died, Yeah, like, they had a, a prenup. Yeah. Like, ironclad, like, there is nothing happening well, outside of this prenup. She got $5 million in a fucking Hollywood mansion. And here, here yeah. is a, um... <laughs> How do like, I marry someone like that? Because apparently, uh, Hugh had sold, uh, either, like, a lot of rights or something. I, I don't know the specifics legally. <clears throat> but he sold a huge chunk of, uh, Playboy to someone not too long ago. And his, mo- his, uh, request, I guess, he still lived in the mansion. Yeah. But the guy still earned, uh, like a million dollars. Yeah, and I think that's every... why it changed, like, to where they don't they don't show nudity now in the magazine. Oh, yeah, wait, what? It's, yeah, there's no nudity. There's it's no kind of like um, it's kind of like Maxim. Now. Oh, yeah. I had no what? idea. Yeah. Oh yeah, you didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> you shattered ago. our worlds, bro. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that, like yeah, I mean, years ago they they made that change. I can still respect it because, uh, like, like I said, like compared to like Howard Stern <laughs> yeah. or some shit or Hustler. I, I was seriously you, considering, uh, like, buying that final issue with the new or something. Oh, yeah. There was an issue that stood out. Like, I think the last issue I bought was the Marge Simpson one. Because oh, it's Marge Simpson on the cover. You're not, not going to buy that, you know? Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's pretty that's good collector's good. thing there. Uh, nice little tidbit about his uh, tidbit. wife that it, he was married to up until he died. Um he met her when he was 86. She was 26. Like, oh. come on. If that is not a guy to aspire to be, like, shit. Like, for real. And, of course, it's like, oh, it's all about the money, but fuck. Like, still. Like, <clears throat> did you guys... Money or not, wait, you get to say what, that. What if he, like, dated her under an alias for a long time? And he's, like, trying to... He's like, <laughs> he was trying to trap me. He had yeah, died his hair. He had, like... A really like he needed to know it was true, bad, you know? like a bad wig or something. It wore a lot of like American Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> he he like had he had a big clothespin on the back of his neck, holding the wrinkles back. <laughs> uh, and it's all in good fun. Like you know, people don't think we're being disrespectful. I was just trying to think like, of a way like around. how is he gonna find somebody who truly likes him for him, other than yeah, like, yeah, and looking. he would have to get into like disguise. Date him for like a month or two without letting them know it's him. Oh, uh, yeah. But I'd, I'd watch that. <laughs> that's it. Watch that movie for the life and yeah. times of Hugh Hefner. Yeah. That time. Uh, Bill Catfish. Murray plays you. <laughs> what would be great. Yes. Uh, Oh, oh Bill man. Murray, the best. Movie I'm sure ever. Bill Murray's had an interview or two in Playboy. Oh, he's had. had to have been. I'm sure Bill There's Murray no would way. happily play you. I mean, <laughs> and the uh, the parties, man. Well, let's talk about it. like one another thing. Like once I actually started really looking in the magazine, one of the things I found <laughs> fascinating was like they do these little like uh, collages in the back of like a recent party from that past month or something, and like. 
you'd see all these celebrities and shit in there and like mm-hmm. how they were interacting and some of the most fun pictures of these people. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. Like it, mm-hmm. it was so cool, man. The, the Playboy Mansion party was legendary. Now that you, uh, you, now that you guys have mentioned the, the movie thing, I'm starting to think of uh, Steve Jobs where I've seen two movies come out of Steve Jobs. One called Steve Jobs, the next one's Jobs. So next year, look forward to the movie Stu. Oh, one, Steve. one was a. Uh, <laughs> it was like Hugh. One of those with uh, Ashton Kutcher played him. Yeah, I yeah, watched Steve that one Jeff. and uh, I know and, I seen uh, the other one. Watch, watch how I do this. Like it's gonna be really tactful. <laughs> so, uh, so to bring it back back around to something we just talked about a little bit ago, uh, Ashton Kutcher, star of that '70s show, once had a scene with Bruce Willis where he was. <laughs> interviewing for a uh, security job position at the Playboy Mansion, and Bruce Willis was the interviewer. Uh, and it's, just seven oh my God, it's so Ashton funny. Kutcher's. It's so uh, so funny because he's like, uh, we gotta make oh, we gotta make sure the girls are safe. And then he, he leans back, he moves this like certificate or something on his wall, and there's people who's like, yep. Yeah. Everyone's looking real safe today. It's like the shower. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, it's so fucking funny. Um, but yeah, and then uh, Bruce Willis had his interview in Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> Seven so shades of Bruce Willis. Willis. I just brought it all way back around. Now we got nothing to talk about. So right, well, I, just, that was a good I just killed the episode right there. Um, no, but uh, are there any issues that that stood out like? One among the fray. I like this you one. Always remember. It wasn't the uh, obviously this is for the uh, mainly the boobs and uh, such. Well, yeah, I guess the uh, cinematography that went into this, but um, uh, it wasn't the cover, or it was on the cover, but it wasn't the centerfold, and it was a Starbucks shoot that they did. I was like, yeah, I like yeah, that yeah. one. That's pretty yeah. good. That's a good one. Total. <laughs> I've seen like two. I think there's two Pamela Anderson ones. I've, that I've seen. Uh, I, I know of one cover specifically, but uh, I can't remember the second one. But I'm pretty sure you're right. Yeah, I've seen a lot the of second them. Pamela yeah, Anderson. For sure. <laughs> I'm just like flashing through like <laughs> center forward after center forward. I'm like, man, those were good times. <laughs> good times, man. And, like you can really see how they change over the years. Uh, like, less hair, less hair, less hair. Well, there's no hair now, huh? That's I, different. If um uh if I had to pick like the <laughs> The cover girl, the the celebrity centerfold or what, whatever. Well, no, actually, usually whoever was on the cover so they not. The you, no, they usually weren't. Oh, yeah, like the Starbucks yeah. one was on the cover, but it yeah. wasn't the centerfold. Yeah, yeah, they they had a uh, like a multi page spread. Yeah. Of of their shoot, but then like the centerfold like, was like you in there. Whoever was the centerfold had like less than what that celebrity yeah. did. Yeah. But they got the they got the they got the yeah, they that's, got the that's that was the a coveted spot. But if I had to pick from like who was on the cover, my my favorite cover leading to my favorite shoot, uh, Jamie uh, Presley. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah one. That's one of my favorite issues ever right there. Um I don't know. Uh, I, I I honestly. How do you think just Denise one? Richards? Yeah, there's a Denise. Uh, Dita Von Tees. Denise Richards. Uh, China was one. China was, was uh, China one. was twice. And now she's uh, you know full blown porn. Uh but, no, she she had retired for a while. And now she's dead. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. No, she, we yeah. actually covered that a lot. Uh, like. That's what I get for three not... of SMB or something like. That's I don't what know. what I get for not being in the show. Yeah, <laughs> no, she uh, she died a while back, Man. about a year a year or more ago. I'm gonna have to take a minute, guys. Yeah, she had uh, <laughs> she had uh, retired from porn. She was uh, like doing this whole revival of China thing. She had uh, she was trying to get herself into the Hall of Fame, the Wrestling Hall of Fame, which she totally deserves. But yeah. like that that porn stigma. Was following around. Yeah, you go back and listen to the episode. <laughs> it was sort of a butt. I'm bringing it up now. Yeah. This is a whole thing. Right? <laughs> you just, right now. Just, look. You just put in headphones. No, 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 we just sit Richard here Herman and here. listen <laughs> to the episode. We listen and let the listeners listen, listen to the to episode us with listening us. to the episode. Yeah, commentary um, on the episode. But yeah, the, there's no doubt the man was a pioneer. The, the guy was like, you wanted to be him. Like, it, literally at any age. At any age, no matter like how 
wrinkly he got. Uh, he looked pretty good, I think. I have to see something really up there. I, yeah, I didn't, like, Before I, what I recall, he looked I think the, the most recent uh, I had ever seen him was maybe like five years ago or something. I like, mean, in all of the all rec- right. more recent pictures that I've seen in some of these articles, like he still looked pretty yeah, good. For really that's that's how I want to look when I'm 90 years, years old, you know? Like, I mean, they have to be within like the last five years. I, well, I saw pictures of him and his uh, most recent wife, and uh, like you said, he was 86 when... When what? he married her, so oh, like yeah. for late eighties, like yeah, it was like. Want to ask him if he ever like, do you, do you ever lift, bro? Like you looking good for an old man. You know? <laughs> well, I mean, he's also got money. Like I mean, like money Does that goes mean a long. Pays people to lift for him. Well, or? no, I mean it goes a long <laughs> way. Like for self preservation, you can, you can afford to do all these. You can go work out. I don't, out. Know. I don't know. I don't know. Money buys. I make a million dollars. I can work out every day. <laughs> money buys happiness. It's a, it's a simple fucking truth. Like, Anyways, all right. So that that's uh, that's gonna be our Hugh Hefner Memorial episode extravaganza um, special, like two thousand seventeen. Hef- Guys, this part or something. Or? A moment of silence for the legend. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> we talked about this every podcast. <laughs> We try to get him to do it during his unboxing, but he's going to do it right here on the podcast. <laughs> so, you know, that'll bring in some views. <laughs> Which, I just got another it's box like, to unbox. You <laughs> some things. The guy started, on. like, unboxing a loot crate, and then all of a sudden started masturbating. <laughs> like, what the hell? Gone viral. It's, like, everywhere. Unboxing goes wrong when a man whips a penis out. <laughs> <laughs> Makes 435 makes million views. Uh, shit. Uh, well, <laughs> we would know, definitely be on the map. We gotta get. We, we gotta get notoriety somehow. So. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. So here, here's the whole uh, spiel. Uh, you can like sort of my sure. brand on Facebook or our nerd news page, sort of my comics. Uh, you can like sort of my podcast and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, sort of my brand is also on YouTube and we're putting all the podcasts up there. We're well on our way to getting caught up and something coming. You may, those who are faithful, the whole like three and a half of you, <laughs> uh, <laughs> may have noticed t-shirts. there haven't been any YouTube, uh, <clears throat> uploads maybe this past week or so. Uh, and that's because Alpha Specters, Alpha Zone Boxing is coming to YouTube and, uh, I it's was just gonna do. <laughs> I was just gonna do. Uh, you know, uh, like uh, what? Cut are, and paste. What do they call? It? No, not cut and paste. Uh, uh, Chop and screw. <laughs> Fuck! I said it in the goddamn post on on the Facebook page. Clips. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't remember the term right now. Anyways, so I was just gonna like cut it up and just. Put it out. Put the whole but then thing. I was like, <laughs> then I got to thinking about an intro, and I was like, oh, that's so cool. And then it took me like over the course of two days <laughs> and learn. I've learned two new skills in editing, like, <laughs> but, like throughout this whole experience. So, yeah. So, anyways, I'm giving it the 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 royal treatment, and uh, I'm I'm dealing with some audio sync issues now. I got to learn how to fix those. With the thanks of some of my. Some of my theme songs that have yeah, been making it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't uh, know if I got any. Yeah, I even had a, a production meeting with uh, Dr. T. Neal here about some some music for background I music. I think of uh, yeah, a done theme back- song and stuff. Yeah, a couple so, background songs and a couple theme songs for the shows. Literally, the only person I haven't really dealt with in this whole process <laughs> is Odell himself. <laughs> I sent you, sh- I I sent you the finished uh, Photoshop stuff that I did, and that but that wasn't like. It wasn't like a, what do you think? Do you think we should do this? It was like a, hey, look what I did, and it's just happening. <laughs> like it or not, this is happening. <laughs> look what I did. I'm putting this on there. Okay. Deal with it. And then I was like, Dude. oh, yeah, and then I'm going to put this banner photo up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyways, guys, all right. So you can do all that stuff. Leave a comment down below. If, if you want to share your favorite Playboy memories, leave them down below. Maybe we'll talk about them on a future episode. Uh, maybe the one year anniversary of, of the day. So, um, dude, who knows? Uh, but yeah, comment. Fuck it. Why not? You know, like, it takes 12 seconds to say whatever random bullshit it's on. Like, the top share, of the get fuck. involved. <laughs> like, share, quick, click, fuck. 
Whatever. 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 Shane, so cool. get uh, involved. <laughs> Damn it, Shane. We had you for just a moment. <laughs> Uh, we gotta get the, we gotta get that Shane demographic. <laughs> <laughs> Them Shanes out. There. All right. Well, now I think it's uh it's about time for that brand new outro music. What? Yeah.